Hi there, Bob here from Insidium. On today's Top Tip Tuesday, I'm going to show you how you can take an XP trail and how we can vary the thickness of that trail depending on how a particle's radius is animating. This gives us dynamically reshaping of trails throughout our scene. I'll then show you how we can access that data and use it in Redshift. So let's start the clock and we'll begin. In our scene then we have these particles in our scene we've got our emitter in the object tab we're in defined emission mode with a count of five which gives us these five emission points and then in the emission tab you can see we've got the speed set to 332 and we've got varied radius 100 with a variation of 80 and that's just giving us these five particles moving across our screen all of different sizes and you can see their color is animating um, that's just to make it uh, look a little bit more interesting um, and that is with an nx color modifier set to gradient we've got a gradient by parameter layer with this nice colorful gradient and that layer is using a field and the field in question is this random field color here which is just a very big purling noise so let's get some trails sorted go to insidium x particles generators and bring in an xp trail let's just bring that to the bottom and this xp trail we need to drag in the emitter we want to create the trails from so let's drag in our emitter we'll leave everything default hit play and now we'll be getting trails um, traced by these particles let's get these sorted out for render so on our xp trail we'll go to tags render tags and bring in a redshift object tag in the curve tab we'll set the mode to kind of instancing geometry on the trail here so let's use capsules okay and then in our material manager we have got a simple glass material pre-made here and if we hit play we'll just draw those trails back on let's hit render in our redshift render view and you're going to see we've got tiny trails being rendered really thin trails here let's go to our redshift object tag go to the curve tab let's just boost this thickness um, by a lot let's put this on 200 and there we go so now we have our trails and we have got the color being passed on into those trails because in our xp trail object in the thickness and color tab at the bottom we have the trail color mode set to particle color let's change this to per vertex and then this is going to paint on that weight as the particles change color and it remembers it yeah so we get this really nice coloration of our trails and just so i can show you quickly the way we've got that rendering is we've shown this in previous top tips but if you click on our material let's open up the node editor and we have a simple glass material here but we have a vertex attribute node that is set to curve color look presets curves curve color and we're feeding that color into the glass color the transmission color and that is how we're getting that color data in our render cool but we're talking about thickness we have uniform thickness for all of these trails and if we go to our curve tab we look we can make it go pointy at one end we can change the shape of those but they're all going to look identical and this can look way too uniform if you're using uh, a render maybe with thousands of cool intricate curling trails it can look too um, uniform if they're all exactly the same width so let's get some width data into them what we can do is let's go back to our um, render object tag and in the thickness let's put this back down to the default of one makes them really thin but now let's get the radius from the particles so we can go to the trail thickness and color and in the thickness mode let's put this on use particle current and we'll just play that back in and now look we have got a different thickness trail for every particle now we're getting a little bit of um faceting here. we want to smooth this off here look so let's go to our uh, tag and let's put the mesh subdivisions on adaptive and yeah look that's rounded that off so now this is a really cool way of giving varied thickness to your trails which makes it look way more interesting and more natural very cool but we can go one step further let's say that this radius is animating we can even paint our trails with varied animated thickness so let's just pause that render 
we're going to go to Insidium, X Particles Nexus, and bring in a scale modifier. Let's bring it down. Now, this scale modifier, we're going to use a field as well. So let's put the operation onto set by fall off. We'll switch off all these limits. And now we just need to give it a field to use as a fall off. So let's go to fields. We could just drag in, look, this one we've already used in the color. Let's drag that in there. And let's go to our emitter. So what, we're, what we'll do here is, look, let's put our radius onto 200, but take off the variation. So they're all born at the same, but then as they travel through this field, they'll be changing their radius. So let's hit play and see what happens. Yeah, so look, we're getting them changing their radius like this. Nice. But if we hit render, you see we're still getting um, just this kind of fixed radius trail so what we need to do is go back to our trail object and in the thickness mode instead of using the current we want to use variable use radius variable now when we hit play you'll see it's going to paint on the thickness of that dynamically changing as those particles are getting larger and smaller how cool is that um and one thing to note, actually, if you want your trail to be exactly the same thickness as your particle radius, you can see, look, it's half the size because it's using um, uh, it's using uh, a diameter. So let's put this thickness on two, and then it's going to be perfectly matching the size of the particle painting on that trail. So that is how we can get particles to drive the thickness of trails and then how we can access that data in redshift to get far more varied trails on a per particle basis for our scenes.